Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am in my bedroom, which is empty and echoey because if you saw my last video, I moved into a new place. So my bedroom's still pretty empty. I'm working on it. But right now the sun has shifted and this is where I have the best light. So this is where I'm going to be doing my video. That's right, I'm going to be reading Cosmo and I'm doing a face mask, obviously. If you're curious, the face mask I'm using is my Antipodes Aura Manuka Honey Mask. I love it so much. It's hydrating, it's clearing. I really need it after this week. So I saw this in the store. It's the January issue of Cosmopolitan and I figured you guys seem to love these videos. I like doing them. Why not do another episode of Joanna Reads Cosmo? So let's read some confessions. After our first date, I decided it was okay to let the guy drive me home. In his car, I saw a stuffed animal strapped in a seat belt in his back seat. I asked what was going on, and he said it was a high school graduation gift from his sister. He's had it in every car he's owned. He was 27. I then said, okay, but why is it strapped in like a child? He said, I'm not going to let her just roll around. I hooked up with the dude in the back of my car and for some reason we decided to turn the car off but leave the music playing and one of the doors slightly open. When we were finished, the car wouldn't start. We had killed the battery. No kidding. Dates from hell. He was late to the bar, but I waited. He showed up and talked about himself the whole time. The bartender came over and asked if we wanted drinks and the dude presented a Groupon voucher. Usually I love discounts, but not on a first date. At the end, he took out a package from his bag. He unwrapped it and said, they're dates for our date. At this point, I told him I had a friend emergency. I thought he'd get the point, but the next day he emailed me and said he had a voucher for a com comedy show if I wanted to come. <laughs> Soon after the presidential election, I went on a date with a guy who immediately wanted to know if I followed politics. Then he asked, do you understand what's going on? When I assured him I was up to speed, he responded with, oh, so you know about the two parties and who ran? I met this guy at a bar and he asked me to dinner the next night. He picked a restaurant close to his house and told me to meet him at his place first. When I got there, he was pre-gaming with a bottle in hand. I asked why he was aggressively drinking and he said he didn't want to have to pay for stupid girly cocktails. Then he tried to make me take shots so I wouldn't order drinks at dinner. To make things worse, he got too drunk before we even left and ended up passing out at 8.30, the time of our reservation. I took the rest of the bottle and went to dinner with a friend instead. Oh my God. Full article about bringing back the bush. I really appreciate this. I'm all for bringing it back. And on the next page is an ad for a vibrator. Okay. Cosmo's getting a little cooler. Sex Q and A's. Honest answers to your most private questions. My partner and I are thinking about making a sex tape. Bad idea? Creating a sex tape can be erotic and hot, but you wanna be mindful of the fact that one of you could potentially make it public if you fight or break up. Um, that's also illegal. Maybe just film a steamy makeout when you're clothed, or if you're cool, who wants to see that? Or if you're cool being nude, only film yourselves from the waist up, then delete it after watching. How can my mate and I have hotter foreplay? Help, my guy is big and the sex is painful. What can I do? <coughs> Break up with him. Before you get busy again, talk to your guy about a plan of action to make intercourse feel great. He won't mind hearing how huge he is. How can I tell if a dude is faking an orgasm if he's wearing a condom? Unless you're willing to conduct a forensic investigation on the used rubber, you can't. You'd need to see an MRI of his brain or monitor his sympathetic nervous system for increased activity that happens during climax. A John Mayer-ish O face could be his acting skills, but as long as you're both enjoying yourselves, there's really no need to go PI on his peen. My husband keeps asking me to try backdoor sex. I've told him I'm not interested, but then he gets mad and says I'm not willing to experiment. How do I get him to understand where I'm coming from? Um, you, you should get a divorce. Remind him that there's nothing sexy about being coerced into doing something you don't want to do. If you're turned off by something, it shouldn't make him angry. It should turn him off too. Duh. Hot guy plus snow day. 
It's just a bunch of like guys skiing with their shirts off. This guy says, it's hot when women can still look good bundled up in layers of clothes. I like a girl who can snowboard, but it's a turnoff for me if she's too into the sport. I don't want to be lying in bed talking about new tricks. All about men. Well, that just says it all, doesn't it? Decode his apartment. Psychologist and relationship expert Antonia Hall helps analyze what a man's personal space reveals about him. If a guy has a super polished and pristine abode, congrats, he's adulting. If he has nostalgic keepsakes everywhere, given his glory days shrine, his focus may be stuck in the past. But don't fret, if he makes plans in advance, he's confident in where, he's, where this is going. That, what? This is the worst advice. If he has dirty clothes and piled up dishes, he may be busy, lazy, or artsy. No. If he has minimal decor and an empty fridge, it's possible that he has a fear of commitment or prefers to put his energy into outdoor adventures. Take your time to suss out if it's just a phase. What? How does that have anything to do with commitment? Four touches that drive him wild. The full body hug. Can you imagine people just sitting around a, like, a conference table and they're like, hmm, let's think of four ways you can touch a guy that'll drive him wild. And then someone's like, I know, I know, like a hug. And they're like, yes, yes, I love it. 50% of men aren't able to identify the vagina in an anatomical diagram. Why girl on top should be your go-to. Was this written by a man? Getting off just got easier. For guys! <laughs> I can't make this up. Well, that's the whole thing. And kind of, it kind of sucked. Didn't seem like there was a lot of sex tips in there. Definitely not enough for women. It's time for me to wash this face mask off and eat something. So thanks for watching. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe. I'll see you on Saturday.